In this video, you will learn how to integrate email and password authentication using Firebase and Flutter. So let me show you a demo first. Open the app. You will see here a login page. Click on register. In register page, we have name, email, and password text field. Enter Ali and name field. Enter Ali at gmail.com and email field. Enter the password and password field. Click on register. You will see here a loading page and create a user account in Firebase. Once you register successfully, you will redirect you to the home page. In the home page, we just show the user ID and email of login user. Close the app and open the app again. The app will check if the user logged in or registered previously. The user will redirect to the home page. Click on logout. Once you log out, the user will redirect to the login page. Enter the email and password that we registered previously. Click on login. Once you logged in successfully, you will redirect you to the home page. Let me show you the registered user on Firebase. Open your browser and enter console.firebase.google.com. It will redirect you to the Firebase console page. If you didn't set up Firebase in your Flutter app, click on the above link on how to set up Firebase in your Flutter app using CLI. Once you set up, click on authentication, click on user staff. You will see here a user that we registered before. So let's start coding. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. First go to the popspec.yaml file, add the Firebase out package and also also add the loader overlay package. Click on pop get to get the package in our project. Once you are done, go to the Firebase console website, open your project, go to the authentication page, click on sign in method, click on email or password, turn on, click on save, sign in with email and password, enable it successfully. Come back to our project. In lib file, we have three folder, page, services, wages. In wages, we have three wages, app button, custom text field, top title. Go to the top title file. We just have a top title title that extends from a stateless widget. Declare the title and subtitle, pass the title and constructor, and also pass the subtitle. Inside the build method, we have container. Inside the container, set a little margin from top and bottom. Inside child, create a column widget. Pass the cross axis alignment dot start to cross axis alignment of column. Inside children, create a text widget. Pass the title, create a text style widget and pass it to the style, set the font size to 24, set the color to black, set the font weight to bold, add a little space here, create a text widget, pause the subtitle and also set the color to gray, save the file and go to the custom text field file, here we just have a custom text field that extends from a stateless widget, here we just have some parameters and some decorations, we have created a video that you can create a custom text field in flutter i will put it on the above link so i want to add some validations in our custom text field inside the text form field we have a validator called the validate function pass the name and value that we get from text field i want to create a method that you can check the email is valid or not and we use regular expression for this create a validate function pass the context name and value check if the name is equal to email then check if the value is equal to null or the value you is empty return please enter your email else if the email is not valid return please enter a valid email else if name is equal to name check if the value is equal to null or the value is empty return please enter your name else if name is equal to password then check if the value is equal to null or the value is empty return please enter your password else if the value length is smaller than 8 return the password can be less than 8 characters otherwise return null save the file and go to the app button file inside the app button file 
we just have a class called a button that extends from a stateless widget. Declare the text and untap, pass the text and pass the untap. Inside the build method, we return the size box widget. Inside the size box, set the width to infinity, set the head to 50. Inside child, created an elevated button. Call the elevated button dot style form. Inside the style, create a rounded rectangle border and pass it to the shape property. Set the border radius to 10 inside child create a text widget pass the text create a text style widget and pass it to the style of text set the color to white set the font size to 18 pass the untap function to the unpress function save the file and go to the login page here inside the login page file we just have created a login page class that extends from a stateless widget import some widgets here declare and initialize the form key also declare the email control controller and password controller for our text fields inside the build method return a scaffold widget create a safe area widget and pass it to the body inside child create a single child scroll view widget add some padding inside child create a form widget pass the form key to the key inside child create a column widget set the cross axis alignment to start inside children create a top title widget pass the login to the title and pass welcome back to the subtitle Create a custom text field, pass the controller, pass the email to the name, set the email icon to prefix icon, set the input type to email address, create another custom text field for password, pass the controller, set the password to name, set the lock icon to prefix icon, set the input type to text, and set the obscure text to true. Then create an app button widget inside the untap function, check the form is valid, call the login function from out service class pass the context pass the email address pass the password pass login to the text of app button widget add some space create a center widget inside the child create a text button widget inside the unpress function call navigator.push pass the context and pass the material page route inside the builder pass the register page inside the child create a text widget pass the register save the file and go to the main.dart file remove the simple page here and call the login page save the file and run it to see the changes you can see here we just designed the login page with email password and login button go to the register page file let's design the register page import the wages at the above of your file declare the form key declare the name email and password controller inside the build return a scaffold widget inside body create a safe area widget inside child create a single child scroll view widget add some padding create a form widget pause the form key create a column widget inside the child pause the cross axis alignment to start inside the children create a top title widget pause register to title and pause create an account to the subtitle create a custom text field widget pause the control Controller, pass the name to the name, pass the person icon to prefix icon, set the input type to name, and set the text capitalization to words. Create another custom text field for email, pass the email controller, set the email to the name, pass the email icon to prefix icon, set the input type to email address, create another custom text field for password, pass the password controller, set the password to name, set the lock icon to prefix icon, set the input type to text, and set the obscure text to true create an app button widget inside the untap function check the form is valid call the create user function from out service class pass the context pass the name pass the email and pass the password pass the register and text property of app button add some space create a center widget inside child create a text button widget inside unpress function call navigator.pop inside child create a text widget pass the login save the file and run it to see the changes click on register you will see here we just designed the register page as well click on login to come back click on register to go to the register page let's write the function part go to the service folder 
open the auth service file here we have auth service class inside the auth service class we have three functions the last one is to show the message we use the snack bar widget to show the message at the top we have a method called create user pass the context pass the email pass the name pass the password import the file bus auth at the top of your file then declare an auth variable inside the create user show the loading and also hide the loading between this add a try function inside try declare a variable called user credential and call auth.create user with email and password from firebase auth package pass the email and pass the password and also we have to call update display name method to update the username then call the navigator.pop inside the firebase auth exception check if the error code is equal to weak minus password show a message that the password provided is too weak as if the error code is equal to email already in use show a message that the account already exists for that email and else show the error message inside the auth service class we have a login method pass the context pass the email pass the password inside the login method show a loading first and hide the loading at the end between this add a try function inside try call auth.sign in with email and password pass the email and password inside the firebase auth exception check if the error code is equal to invalid login credentials show a message that invalid email and password and else show the error message save the file and go to the home page inside the home page file we just have a home page class that extends from a stateless widget import the firebase out here get the current user and assign it to the user variable inside the build method return a scaffold widget here we just have a simple upper inside the body create a container widget set the weight to infinity set a little margin inside child create a column widget set the cross axis alignment to center set the main axis alignment to center let's create an item for showing the user id and username pass the key and pass the value inside the item return a container widget set a little margin from bottom and top inside child create a row widget set the main axis alignment to center inside children create a text widget pass the key create a text style widget set the color to black set the font width to bold set the font size to 16 create another text widget pass the value set the font size to 16 create an item widget pass the user id as a key and pass user.uid as a value create another item pass the email and pass the user.email as a value create a text button widget inside child create a text widget set the logout inside the text widget set the color to red inside the unpressed function call signout method from firebase out package save the file and go to the main.dart file import the firebase out and loading overlay package and also import the home page and login page inside build return a global loader overlay widget set the overlay color to gray with opacity of 0.4 inside child create a material app widget set the debug banner to false set a dim color globally inside home create a stream builder widget inside a stream call out state change from firebase out package inside builder pause the context and a snapshot check the snapshot.data is not equal to null return the home page and else return the login page save all your files and run it to see the changes so here we have a login page click on register enter the name enter the email and enter the password click on register here you can see we have a loading here once the user registers successfully the user will redirect to the home page with user id and email click on logout let's login to check the login function click on login you can see here we have a loading invalid email and password let me enter the right password click on login once the user logged successfully the user will redirect to the home page with user id and email let's check the firebase console click on authentication then click on users you can see here the registered user in firebase console as well thanks for watching if you want to support us click on like button if you have any questions suggestions let us know in the comment below